Start heating back case plate at 90 degrees to heat up the back of the phone using LCD touch screen separator you want to make sure not to overheat the back panel as it's made from plastic. Use a triangle opener to insert in between the panels, once inserted you can run it around the edges to loosen the adhesive. The new camera design makes it a little harder for you want to be careful of those three camera lenses as inserting your plastic pick too far could damage your mobile. So do it slow and study, we can get the back free. Remove all 22 Phillips head screws from the mobile using Phillips type screwdriver. To remove the wireless charging module you'll also need to disconnect one cable underneath before lifting it and take out of the phone. Remove the upper cover case module and subboard cover case. Disconnect the battery connector and remove the upper speaker connector and antenna connector. Then start by disconnecting all of the flex cables, so we can get this motherboard out of the phone. The battery removal is still very difficult and use a plastic pick tool to remove the battery. They add more glue under the battery. So remove gently using plastic pick tools. It has 3880 mAh lithium ion battery. By removing the motherboard we can get it out of the phone and take a closer look at it. The main board contains three layers of boards. These are the list of components we having in it. Let's see the top view of the main board IC and sections. Let's see the middle of the main board IC and sections. Let's see the back side of the main board IC and sections. Take out the SIM card tray is waterproof with rubber ring, and there is a buckle on the card tray to securely place the SIM card. In charging port assembly unfortunate not to see the SD card expansion slot. However, one thing I have noticed is that this single physical SIM phone has a dual SIM card reader. These are the list of components in subboard. This is the list of components at the top side in the front panel. This is the list of components at the bottom side in the front panel. Now let's see the reverse process assembly of this mobile phone. If you like this what you saw, hit that subscribe button and consider checking out the tear down and repair assessment videos in our channel. For more videos just like this one and if you're looking for mobile hardware training, be sure to check out our website, ekoreaplus.in, which is down in the description. That's all for this video and I'll see you in other video, thank you, bye bye.